last month we began to look at deep deliverance that could be surface deliverance partial deliverance that is also deep deliverance we need to address it today we need to address it the coming power must change hands. Glory be to the name of Jesus. And in this coming power must change hands. You must prepare yourself for an encounter with the Lord. Certain deep things must be achieved. I want so listen very very carefully now before we now start this specific prayers there are 40 reasons why the enemy could rage against you 40 reasons the enemy rages against you. A lot of us are going through that now. The enemy is raging against us. But I prophesy upon the life of somebody over there that all those glory killers that have made it a full-time assignment to trouble your life. As you shout a seven-fold amen now, their tenor shall expire in the name of Jesus. In Psalm 2, Psalm 2 from verse 1. Psalm 2 verse 1. Why do the hidden rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves and drew last take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their customers. But the Bible says, He that seated in the heavens shall laugh. There is somebody here, the Lord shall laugh your enemies to scorn in the name of you. Psalm number 7. Psalm 7. Look at what it says in verse 6. Arise, O Lord, in thine anger. Lift up thyself because of the rage of my enemies. And I work for me to the judgment thou hast commanded. The enemy, listen carefully, has rearranged many people from the front to the back. Many have been diverted from their original divine intention. Many are actually waging war against their own destiny, although they're not aware. Many are throwing stones at their own destinies. And they are hiding their hands. And they are the ones throwing the stones. Many are digging their own graves. 
is in Kuarare. And hiding the spade. O and Pokono Pamo. Many are, are princes. Lojo Malade. But the servants have taken over their horses and the servants are riding them. Many are fishing and catching nothing. In the ocean of life. Many good seeds that have been planted into many lives. Unfortunately, have been eaten up by evil birds. Many don't even know the real life they are supposed to live. If some know their real life, they will pray harder than they are praying. Many have been converted to hewers of wood and drawers of water by the enemy. And many are singing the Lord's song in a strange land. Unto many, their correct life has been killed even from the womb. Many are a shadow of what God wants them to be. Many are a shadow of what God wants them to be. Many have internal suppressors, suppressing and killing good things inside. Many who claim to be Christians, they are claiming authority, but they are taking no ground. More than at any other time in the history of mankind, there are many more mad people on our streets now. Many only encounter their real life in the dream. Many have accepted satanic substitute for their destiny. Many are laboring under the curse of powerless living. It is sad, but it is true that the devil has closed down the workshop of so many people. This is a situation that must not be allowed to continue. It is totally unacceptable. This is why the Bible says the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And the violence taken by force. Immediately you stand up. And you decree. You declare. You decide. I want to fulfill my destiny. I want to live my correct life. There is a rage from the bottom of hellfire against your life. The enemy will rage. They want to keep you where they are keeping you. And this is a very serious matter. Sometimes after ministers of God have prayed for some people, the enemies that are after those people come back to the man of God. Excuse me, what is your problem? Leave this person alone. Let us destroy them. I'm praying for somebody here. Every rage of the enemy against your life shall fire in the name of Jesus. A sevenfold image. Under what condition does the enemy rage against you? Number one, the enemy rages against you when your destiny is colorful. Nobody throws stones at mango trees without fruit. The reason you are going through what you are going through now may be because you have a colorful destiny and the enemy is bent on not making you to attain it. Two. 
the enemy rages when they see you as a danger to their activities. They find that if you the way you are going, if you continue going like that, you will be extremely dangerous to their kingdom. Three. The enemy rages when your life is about to make a positive history. Four. The enemy rages when everyone is planning your celebration. Five. The enemy rages when you are at the edge of a destiny changing breakthrough. I see so many people here. They are at the edge of serious breakthrough. I command you in the name of Jesus. Enter into that breakthrough. Enter. Enter it. Enter it. Enter it. Enter it. Enter it. Enter it. In the name of Jesus. Six. The enemy rages. When the time to sing your song and dance your dance is around the corner. Seven. The enemy rages. When your testimony is about to explode. Eight. The enemy rages. When he found that you are about to break his final yoke. That final yoke is about to be broken. They will not become desperate and increase their rage against you. If you give up at that time, you make a tragic error. Now, nah. The enemy rages when their defeat is around the corner. So the way this person is going is about to defeat them. Ten. The enemy rages when your victory becomes non-negotiable. Eleven. The enemy rages when they are afraid of your speed. The way you are going is scaring them. Twelve. The enemy rages when your promotion is already announced in heaven. Thirteen. The enemy rages when your case has been fast tracked in heaven. Fourteen. The enemy rages when you are definitely now positioned to make your mark in life. You are now correctly positioned. When you are not correctly positioned, they leave you alone. But immediately you are correctly correct positioned. You are now praying the correct prayers. The rage will start. Fifteen. The enemy rages when you have just won a major victory. Sixteen. The enemy rages. When there is a prophetic agenda for your life. Word of prophecy has gone forth for your destiny. And so they are so angry they are raging again. 17. The enemy rages when you have been promoted above them. 18. The enemy rages when you are determined to forget your expired past. You want to look forward to the future. A rage you start. 19. The enemy rages when you refuse to take no for an answer. You are putting pressure on heaven to answer your prayers. Twenty, the enemy rages when your adverse is ripe. 
Ogun ota yo binu fufu ni igba ti ko re re ba ti to asita someone here mori enikan ni the advice of your breakthrough is ripe in the name of jesus ko re alaja re ti to ni orupa jesus let your amen rule like thunder 21 ikokan le logun the enemy rages ota binu fufu when you are about to cross your red sea nigba to ba se ton lati koja okokupa re every man will get to their own red sea like she ani ani gbogbo eniyan ni yo de okokupa ti e and they need to cross it what is god of soda re 22 ikeji le logun the enemy rages ota yo binu fufu when the power that prolongs your problem is about to die nigba ti agbara to nfa isoro re gun to ba se ton lati ku i'm going to pray one prayer now won gba adura kan ni sisi if you know that any problem has stayed long with you to ba mo pe isoro kan o ti pe pelu re let your amen be the loudest here je ki amen ti re ko jake bayi by the power of the of Jesus Christ the son of the living god ni pa agbara jesus christ omo olorun alaye every long term problem in any life gbogbo isoro olojo pipe ninu aye enikeni i address you mo ba yin wi hear the word of the lord e gbo oro oluwa use your power in the name of jesus ma sikata ni oruko jesus ma sikata ni abosende rabokante rima sa pali katali kaaba ma shante rabokose Amen. Amen. Twenty-three. Because the enemy of you, the enemy rages. But are you being overful? When you declare to them, enough is enough. Twenty-four. Because the enemy of you, the enemy rages. But are you being overful? When you are set to overtake your superiors. Twenty-five. The enemy rages. But are you being overful? When you decide to be Born to obstacles. Number to pass up a old taku, old is shaggy deep and look up where they know. Twenty-six. The enemy rages. But are you being overful? When you you are determined to turn your scar into star. Number to pass when you pay book book pay ne. Oh, someone did it a war. Twenty-seven. The enemy rages. The cat had the love more. But are you being overful? When you are determined to go from zero to hero. Number to pass when you pay. Oh, kuro ni po kuro po over the aki tonju. Twenty-eight. The enemy rages when your turning point is near. Otayo ibinu fufu ni gba ti akoko ayi pada re ba sumo. 29. E kokon di logbon. The enemy rages. Otarunu when the enemy says that your blessings are irreversible. Nigba to ta ba ti ri pe ibukun re ko se fa seyin mo. I'm touching. Ogbon which is where I'm going to stop for now. Ibi ti won ti menu duro lo ni. The enemy rages. Otarunu when you need deep deliverance and you do not possess it. nigbati o ba ni lo itusile to jile to si ti re igba because they do not want you to get out of that bondage nitori won o fe ko kuro ninu ide na some things will begin to happen right now i want to call you be ti sele nitin all you need to do o to ni lo lati se so just listen to instructions so ko te ti gbo ila na and pray those prayers ko ti gba awon adura na and follow the procedure outlined for you what tell me bi mo ba se ni ko se and then believe god from your heart o si gba olorun gbo tokan tokan but for you to go through this situation and receive deliverance from deeply rooted problems ti ma ko ba le la oro yi ko ja ko si gba etu sile kuro lowo awon isoro to ji ni gogo you need to surrender your life to jesus first o koko gbodo faye re fun jesus after that leyin yen you can begin to address such trouble lo le bere ti boju to awon isoro na rise up Rise your feet. Rise your feet. All eyes closed. If you are here today, you are. Rise your feet. If you are here today, to ba wa ni lo ni. Say pastor. So we pray. Oh, you shall go to. Today is my day of deliverance. I need to surrender my life to Jesus. Oh, you lo joy. Just let me mon la ti fa ye mi fu Jesus. Whatever you are, why all eyes are closed. If you do wa, you ba ti gbogbo eniyan diju won. Raise up your right hand. No, or what to let me. Raise up very well. God bless you. God bless you. Don't talk that all Lord you go come for. God bless you. Lord you go. Those of you raising up your right hand. Eh, it no what to. It's okay when you. Come quickly to the altar here. Kia kia e ma bon wa ju pe ni. Or the two altars at the back. Abi pe pe mi e kan to ba won inu awon meji to wa. Jesus is watching for you here. Just to do the. You need to surrender your life to Jesus. E ni lo la ti fire e fun Jesus. Before you can receive this deep deliverance. Eto le gba itu sile to jile yi. Do it very quickly. Jesus is watching for you. Eya kan kan la ti se be Jesus do the yin. Thank you Jesus. O se o Jesus.
Those of you at the altar, I congratulate you. You've taken the most important decision in life. Just say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, Baba. In the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. Lay your hands upon them. Bless them mightily. Write their names in the book of life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Right there where you are, the, the counselors who discuss with you. I'm telling you the next step forward. The rest of us, let's bow down our heads. And tell the Lord. That you must not go home empty handed here today. Begin to talk to the Lord now. If this month is about there, could you please rise to your feet, please? Why we pray with you? Father, we thank you for your children here. We are celebrating their birthday this month. Let your hand be upon them for good in the name of Jesus. Mobilize heaven so that help everywhere they go in the name of Jesus. By this time, let's say Jesus starts in his coming. He will be a bigger bundle of testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Bring out your prayer letters, stand on your feet and point it towards this altar now. Let your amen roar like thunder. As I pray now. Let your amen roar like thunder. As I pray now. All the letter point to the altar. Father, in the name of Jesus. Every prayer listed in this paper. Let them become testimonies in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will answer all your prayers. And you shall rejoice. You shall rejoice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Bring out your anointing oil now. And put a little bit on your palm. A little bit on your palm. Father, this oil that your children are using today. Let it become the oil of healing and deliverance. The oil that would dig deep. And uproot every foundational evil plantations in the name of Jesus. Let this oil become the oil of healing, deliverance, and power. In the name of Jesus. Now apply the oil on your forehead. Rub that forehead vigorously. Vigorously. Aha. Be vigorously. Don't stop, don't stop. Keep rubbing it in. Something is going on. Evil labors are being removed. The mark of the enemy is being removed. Continue doing it. Continue doing it. Aha. Then. Aha. Then. Amen. I mean, put a small oil on your palm again. Your palm. 
again. Father, this oil. Baba Oroloi. Let it become the instrument of great breakthrough. Instrument of great power. In the name of Jesus. Now rub your two hands with the oil. It's to release prosperity onto your life. Rub those two hands. Rub it together with the oil. That's right. Makapota sete la kayaba. Baribo suponde ke ya boshente la bosanta. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Powers. Submitting my name to the Covenant. In the name of Jesus. Pass. Submit in my name to the covenant. Die in the name of Jesus. Makatenda yaboshenta. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we call Jesus.